the whole, I, I think the crop of, of people now who were, who were young when that occurred, it's going to be very interesting to watch them growing up because they're, 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 going, they're growing up in a different world. They're growing up in, in, in an altogether different landscape. As of 2006, only two major motion pictures had been released about 9-11. The first, United 93, was gritty and dark, so much so that the filmmakers actually falsified facts to make the film more violent. The second film, simply titled World Trade Center, was directed by Oliver Stone and starred Nicolas Cage. The film did not even mention terrorism, and instead focused on the rescue efforts of the firefighters and police. One movie went for fluff, the other fear, Neither seemed honest. In these interviews, uh, most people, when I ask them to, when I ask them what they remember, they mention the people jumping from buildings. Why do you think that is? Because what kind of, because they're probably thinking when they were watching that, what kind of people would jump out the buildings? You know, you know they could they could try and do try and do something to save their lives. You know, just running out, but you know, since they knew they're gonna die when the planes hit, I guess you know. I was watching a part of the, the video yesterday on TV, and they were standing when they were showing the part where the firefighters were standing in one of the towers because they wanted us to sort of come down or whatever. And you hear like thumping on the top as people jumping out of the windows and just hitting the top of the roof and they're just standing there. Like, I don't know, that was just, I don't know how you could stand underneath and you just know people are like dying on top of you. My dad's cousin, he worked in the second one that got hit and like he, he remembers like that day, like they told them stay in the office, but he like, he just saw like how bad it was getting in the first tower and he like saw all the smoke and he said this isn't normal, like that's not a normal fire, it's not, you heard the bang, they felt the building shake and he just, he was like lucky he was on like one of the really top floors, he was in like the 90 something floor and like a couple of his coworkers, like they all went down, they were just like maybe we should, we'll come back tomorrow, they'll fix whatever's going on in the first tower, he, I mean he walked, he was one of those people walking to towards Brooklyn. Like he was those people walking on the bridges because you couldn't do anything. And right when he gets downstairs, he's like a block away from the Trade Center and the second tower gets hit. And he knew a lot of people that died that day because they told him everything's normal. It was like a routine. If something happens in the World Trade Center, like there's a fire, you stay there until like the fire department, like the trash can's on fire. You just stay there. Like you have to get like waited out. But this time it, it, he just left. Like he, him and like a couple of his coworkers and people on other floors, they just started leaving because they were like just in case. And like the bosses were telling him, stay, it's fine, everything will be fine, they'll fix it, whatever. And he just left. And like he looks back and he like he couldn't even look back. He was like block away and he heard it and he was just like he didn't look back. Like he just kept walking until he got home. And he was recording. And in the recording, like. He didn't see the, he didn't record when the first one hit, but he recorded when the second one hit. And you see people jumping, and I saw like women like holding hands with their children and jumping and like basically dying. And I saw like like a man and a woman to just holding hands, like three, four, just all holding hands, and they just all jumped together. And it made me cry, and I was like, wow. We'll go down in history as the generation that saw 9-11 through our school board issued television sets. Do you think America's learned anything since the attacks? No. Nothing. What about our generation? Anything specific that we've learned? I mean, I don't think there was much to learn at the time. I mean, it, we weren't really... I, mean, I really don't know how to explain it. The only thing I've learned from 9-11, or the only thing America's learned from 9-11, is not to bring water bottles onto the planes. Or, you know, we have to stop Middle, East, Middle Eastern people and, you know, pat them down. And nothing's really changed. The way we run our lives is the, the exactly the same, and I don't think it will change. Who do you blame for the 9-11 attacks? I mean, you, you can't really blame anybody. I guess uh, the people who did it, the Taliban, the... You can point fingers at you know everybody and come up with a reason for it and justify it, but it's a collaborative effort, I suppose. 
this isn't a war against a country. It, it's a war against people who want America dead. It's a war against people who think that the very freedoms that we that we possess are the things that make us worth killing. <coughs> and and so it's it's across the board. Um, some of the people that that are our enemies, our greatest enemies, are from within. They're Americans. Um, they're they're people from all walks of life. They're from people people from all all nationalities, people all across Europe, all across the Mideast, all across the United States, are cells of people who, who find our very freedoms terrifying. And what people don't have, they hate. What they don't understand, they fear. And what they fear, they hate. And so we're the people to kill. Do you think our generation has learned anything since 9-11? I don't really think we learned anything. If anything, we got stronger. But as well as learning anything, I really don't think so. But it did impact us a lot. Do you think America has learned anything? America, yeah. I, I think we just learned to we need to stay strong through these times, and we just got we just brought real close together. It's just a wake up call. Who do you blame for the attacks? I blame no one really. I just think that the people were misled. I think they just got pushed in a corner to do something that was real wrong. But as far as blame, I don't really blame anybody for what they did. Do you think our generation has learned anything since 9-11? I, mean, I think our generation is just different. We've learned how to deal with different problems. We realize that terrorism is a threat in the world that it's not as safe as it used to be. Do you think America has learned anything since the 9-11 attacks? I think we've learned that we're not as tough as we think we are. I mean, we had, we had people telling telling the United States government there are people of, of a certain Mideastern extraction who exhibit certain fanatic behaviors who are learning how to fly airplanes. And the instructors are saying none of them is interested in learning how to land. That should have been a pretty large tip-off, but it got buried in the hundreds of thousands of pages of, of information that was being filtered into the White House. And, and at that point, we honestly did not believe that we were vulnerable. Do you think that our generation has learned anything since 9-11? Oh, of course, of course. You go in the airplane with the bomb, what they, what's they gonna check you and just throw you out? They can call dogs on you, they can kill you. Of course, you learn a lot. They don't trust nobody that looks suspicious. Do you think America's learned anything since 9-11? I think people have gotten a lot closer. Uh, there's not that same sense of security that we had pre-9-11. Do you think our generation has specifically learned anything? Our gen- uh, I mean, not that anything, you know, the other generations haven't learned from this. Do you think America has learned anything from this? Hopefully. What do you think the attacks have done for our generation? I'm not too sure about that. Where do you think this generation is headed? And do you think that 9-11 has altered where we're going? It's made us more cautious and hopefully we'll be more aware that as a people what we do does affect other people and that can get reactions. And we'll be more careful as we go on about. Are you worried that another 9-11 attack might happen? Yeah. Do you feel that the government is providing adequate safety for us? They're doing what they can. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Who do you blame for the 9-11 attacks? I think everybody has a part in that. Do you think there's someone to blame for the 9-11 attacks? Yeah. I think a complacency. I think Shakespeare said it best when he said, "Security is mortal, mortal's greatest enemy." Yeah, it was our it was our complacency. It was our dis, it was our decision to think of ourselves as above attack. You know, attack. Well, that was that was for Northern Ireland. That was that was for what's going on in in Israel. That that's that's what happens in Egypt. That's what happens. That's what happens everywhere else. It doesn't happen here. Um, airplane flying is not perfectly safe, but it's a whole lot safer than driving and walking. And, you know, we're never really, we're, we're, we didn't think about it. We didn't think about it, and we should have thought about it. There were plenty of people who were saying, I'm, I'm nervous about this, I'm nervous about that, and, and nobody was listening.
I'm not trying to be poignant. I'm trying to make sense. Henry David Thoreau always said, you don't really need to, to, to read the news because every train wreck is just like every other train wreck. You don't need to read about it. You know, you know what it's like. It's going to be horrible. Um, this was different, and this was, this was something that I think if you saw it, you would never, never forget it. But if you're young, I don't know what it would mean. I'm not sure it would seem real. <laughs>